hello guys uh, welcome back once again to this youtube channel you know um let's talk about a bit to be uh what would be said about leaving the labor party because a lot of things have actually been happening within the labor party and in fact i can boldly tell you for free that the labor party is more than divided than ever now because they've lost their for some of their fan base in the in in, in 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 the group of the obedience and all that because the obedience are having misunderstanding over the leadership of the uh, uh of the party led by uh, julius abri a few if you remember julius abri uh, a few days ago was arrested though he has been released under bail for some certain infractions and things that he did in, within the uh, party and also he has been accused of you know looting about three point something billion naira forging signatories of people and you know using uh, some accounts to you know loot and you know steal money from the labor party accounts you know these are allegations that, that we are levied uh, against him by the treasurer the fintech and some other uh, 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 executives in the labor party and you know a lot of obedience are no, uh, are no longer comfortable with what is happening in the labor party because they believe that our uh, p2b and the obedient movement was built on transparency and they believe that whatever vehicle that they are going to use to contest for the 2027 presidential election should be as transparent as anything because that has been the key words of mr p2b that transparency and accuracy and accountability is his watchword so obedience can you know are surprised that they cannot watch the party you know uh, uh be you know filled with a, a lot of corruption and all that now mr people have actually come out to speak about a uh, report that he will be leaving the level party uh, level party as soon as possible because the the reports are actually circulated even some obedience are in support that p2b should immediately leave the Labour party because of what is happening why some others are saying how, how why would people leave the Labour party that it is not easy to form a new political party that it is not easy to form a new political party to have structures across the 36 states plus the federal capital territory ahead of the 2027 presidential election remember we have barely three more years so how how far would people be you know build structures and have people in uh maybe in the new party have people in the house of assembly and in the house of representative but remember labor party have produced a governor many house of rep and house of assembly members and even when it comes to states they have a state house of assembly members in different places so of course they, they have enough structures now and courtesy of what mr p2b did so p2b you know uh, that's why some people are saying that he shouldn't leave rather you know uh, he should actually rectify the issue so he has come out to speak on his possibility of leaving the labor party they said as a question they, they said that the presidential candidate of the labor party in the 2023 governorship in the 2023 general election p2b has dismissed speculation that he will be parting ways with the party this is containing a statement that was signed by the P, by the p2b media rich he said, according to a statement signed by Obese Media, it being Michael Jude Molisa, you know, on Friday, uh, the POL, POMR being um, P2B Media, you know, which expressed its wish to vehemently dismiss trending fake and fallacious news stories, suggesting that he was parting ways with the Labour Party. This is not true, and it did not originate from Obi or, or, the, or the obedience or the obedient movement, but from mischief makers bent on sowing the seed of discord in the party. Uh, this particular people said in the statement the lp candidate distanced himself from the news item on some online platform you know stressing that it was the handiwork of mischief makers like i told you guys there are a, a lot of people that have been circulating the news that p2b is having a very big issue with julius abri that julius abri even wants to suspend mr p2b from the labor party that p2b is even making moves that is that, that his mind is no longer in the labor party a lot of you know unconfirmed reports have been going out and reports and rumors so p2b needed to come out and clarify this news because some obedience are even pushing the agenda that he should as a matter of fact leave the leave the labor party as soon as you know possible like i've told you guys now this report the quality one for said they said that presently our principal being p2b is preoccupied with making um nigeria work to to make nigeria work not on partisan politics which ended on october 26 2003 when the supreme court of the land took their final decision on the elections they, they said these rising uh miss damien miss uh Demenos on the party did not start today as they set out to destroy and disorganize the party or to get it or to get that to be and derail the inevitable journey of rescuing uh, nigeria you know the labor party and p2b's uh, uh media team you know actually had to release this statement so the obedience will actually understand because most of the obedience might be uh, babies in the uh, political system they don't know that the apc has a hand in whatever that is happening in the labor party of course julius abue might have one or two cases against him of course these are internal party issues that must actually be sorted that even p2b has said okay we are going to employ uh, the expertise of uh, a 
foreign audit that will come and audit the money and everything that uh, the finances of the Labour Party. And if anybody is found wanted, the person is going to go in for it. And that should be a case, uh, an internal case that the Labour Party could have actually even followed. But you can see that APC has been, you know, instigating, inciting, and planting seed of discord within the party. That is why you know they are trying to you know this organize the party because we've seen that this is the only opposition they have. The Labour Party and uh, the obedience at, and P2B are the strongest opposition that these people have. So they know that. It, the, that this by giving them tough time in their government, so they want to dismantle the party, destroy the party, and put and sow a seed of discord, disunity, and hatred. So the party will not will no longer exist. So some baby politicians are some baby are obedience. I call them baby obedient because most of them you know love people to be, but of course there are political ways that Mr. Pitinibu and APC wants to use to dismantle the party, and it's only people that are way way more experienced in politics who understand this truth and this particular fact. Abuja might be corrupt, yes, he might not be corrupt, yes, but the fact remains that if they allow the APC to take advantage of what is happening in the Labour Party. There won't be a Labour Party for even the obedience. There won't be a Labour Party for anybody. I can boldly tell you this for free. And like I've told you earlier why uh, I was making this video, that it will be very difficult for people to be an obedience and any, any other person to build a political party within the three years. Remember, people will be to be level party to what it is today because of the help of obedience. And now they have people in the House of Assembly. Now, if people be wants to contest, who is going to back him up? Which House of Assembly, House of Rep, or others is going to you know help mobilize a lot of things? And now the obedience wants to be divided. This is the joy of APC. And that is why I've kept on making this video for me to enlighten the obedience, some of the obedience, and that they shouldn't be rejoicing over the arrest and uh, abuse of uh, what uh, happened to Mr. Abri. That, that was why B2B vehemently, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, reprimanded and warned the Nigerian police force uh, concerning the way they manhandled uh, the National Party of a political party. Imagine lying him down on the floor. This has this can never happen in any developed nation. It's not possible. It cannot happen in any developed nation that the national party, national chairman of a political party, will be will be humiliated in, in such manner. And some obedience, we are rejoicing. Some obedience, we are clapping their hands that Julius Abria has been apprehended, not knowing that the APC is using that way to get to the party and destroy the only opposition we have within this country. I can boldly tell you, you hear what people be saying. I think he's not leaving the Labour Party. Now, these are the uh, 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 handwork of uh, handiwork of some mischief makers that want to put uh, so seeds of discord within the party. And that is basically the truth. Well, I would like you guys to drop a comment and tell me what you think about uh, this uh, clarification that people be gave. And also share this video. And in case you're not subscribed to the channel, please don't hesitate as a matter of fact to click on the notification button so I get notified whenever we drop important updates and information like this.